This is Mark Bagley with Digital Marketing Solutions. The following technical support video will show you how you can take a simple graphic like the one we have up on our screen right now, the soccer script with the font and tail to it, and send it each individual color using the Roland Cut Studio software to the Roland GX24 cutter. Now what you're going to need to do is we need to separate each individual one of these colors. If we send this entire thing over to the to the cutter and have it cut out using heat applied vinyl it's going to give us the edges or some of the insides. What we need to do is we need to send one layer at a time or one color at a time. The way we're going to do this is we'll begin by starting by clicking on your graphics itself. You want to get these dancing ants all the way around your graphics. Now the way that you'll go about doing them the easiest way is to try and select all of the white. You could try and do it one individual one at a time, but you'll notice there's other whites in here that's missing. I have found the best way to do this is actually to go up to the top. Click on Select. Let's go down to Color Range. Once you have Color Range, you'll have a black box down here. You can click inside this box, and you'll notice that different things will show up, depending on where you select. These are actually the colors that are in this design. The same eyedropper that shows up in this box will also show up in your design. So if I wanted to, I could click on the yellow portion of the design, and it would show up that way in the box. I could click on the green, and it would show up there, or I can click on the white, and it would show up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the white one in this case. I've already done the yellow and the green. I'll show you those in a little bit. Since the white's going to be a little bit more difficult, that's why I chose this one. Go ahead and click OK. Now we've got our dancing ants all the way around all of the white in the graph. What I'm going to do is go up to Edit. I'm going to come down and click on copy. Now I've got a copy of all of the areas where the dance and answer have been selected on my clipboard. I'll go to file and we're going to open up a new document, new page. We'll bring it over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the canvas size that I'm using now and I'm going to use that expanded canvas size to create a cutting box or a weeding box. So I'll expand both the height and the width just a little bit, remembering that these are in pixels and pixels are much different than inches. I also want to make sure my background is transparent. Go ahead and click OK. A new one shows up. All we have to do is come in and drop the white into this one, and it's there now. I click it on the paste button. Now you'll see the barely in there. The problem with it is, is we went ahead and saved this in a file format that Cut Studio could open. It would be in a JPEG or a bitmap. It is going to rasterize this graphic and take anything that's transparent and make it white. Well, since our graphic, in this case, is already a light white, um, we won't be able to, the cutter won't be able to see where it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it stand out a little bit. What we'll do is come over to the left side, click on the set the foreground color. We're going to choose a color. Let's in this case go bright red. Hit OK. Now what we're going to do is click on our paint bucket. And we're just going to fill in the areas of the graphic just to give it the information that it needs to have it cut properly. Once that's saved, all we got to do is go File, Save As. We're going to save it as a JPEG. We already have our yellow and green set up, so in this case we'll name the same exact thing, white, and save it. Go ahead and hit OK. Once we have that saved, I'll show you that we also have our other graphics as well. That's the yellow and that's the green. They've all been onto the same size and everything else in the canvas to make everything easier. So now what we'll do is we'll come over here. I'm going to go over to Cut Studio, click on the Import button, and we're going to bring in the white layer. Same exact thing that we would do for the white, we do for the yellow and the green. It's all basically exactly the same. Once it loads up, it's going to load up in a larger format. That's just one of the functions that happens when the Cut Studio software does. While it's doing that, I'm going to come back to Photoshop. I'm going to make sure that I understand the size of my canvas. Come over here, click it, and we notice it's 9.667 by 6.333. So we'll come back to our Cut Studio, click on that. Now that's come back in, you look down at the bottom, you'll notice that it's 15.104 by 9.896. What we do is we want to change that. Come over to the top, click on the Move button, brings it down to the corner. And then I'm going to want to come over and actually put into it the properties. Properties two areas you can get. You can come over to the top and top left and it's listed right there. You can right click and go down to properties. Either one will work. It's going to bring it up. 
If you have this keep aspect button, which is grayed out at this point, you can just come up here to the width, type in 9.667, and you'll notice that it automatically changes the height for you. Keeps it in proportion, we can grab it, move it down to the bottom corner. Now, what we need to do is create our cut lines. What we're going to do with our cut lines is simple. We're going to click on the object, go up to the object menu, down the image outline. This is going to create our image outline using the slider for the image density. You can move it one way and it will adjust it more. Move it the other way and we can basically let the whole thing go away. You don't want to move it too far to either one extremes. Definitely don't want it there because it will give your edges jaggedy. We're going to find what we think looks the cleanest and nicest. Kind of right there. Click on the extract contour line. Now that it's gone ahead and extracted that information, We'll just go ahead and click OK. Now that we have the graphic here, you'll notice that we do have a box going around this. This box for the design is going to be our weed box. Why you want to create a weed box is because the remaining part of the film that we're going to cut out, any part over to the right of it, the weed box is going to allow us to weed this information out without damaging this extra piece over here of the film that we can use for later use on smaller designs and things like that. So once I have this all cut out, this is going to be the white, I can make a couple options. In the current case, when we are doing this design, we want to make sure that our designs overlap and everything looks smooth. So what we're going to do is you've got the green, and you want to make sure the green, the white, and the yellow blend together. My recommendation is to take the white piece that we currently have right now, and expand the contour lines, make them move out and make them move in. So the way we're going to go about doing that is we will go ahead, come back into our graphic, click on it and cut studio, go up to the top, and we're going to break polyline. By breaking polyline, what that allows us to do, it allows us to select each individual cut line for each one of these. So what I'll do is I'll start off by the, getting the outer cut line here. And this is going to be the white one. And I'm going to just expand that ever so much. Just a little tiny bit. The way we'll do it is highlight it, come down to Object, go to Offset. In the Offset menu, we're going to choose Outside, because that's the line that we grabbed. And we're going to offset it just a little bit. Go ahead and hit OK. Now, if we zoom in, you'll notice that there's an extra line. So we have two lines here now. What we're going to do is we're just going to delete the inside line since we no longer need that. And we have the extra offset. The white now is going to overlap into the yellow with that line. Now what we need to do is do the exa same exact thing for the inside line. Now if there could be multiple inside lines. In this case there's one listed right there. So what we're going to do is go highlight that one, go down to object, and we go to offset. Some people also like to try and highlight multiple ones. So we'll try and highlight that one. And hold down the control button and now we can highlight other lines as well. You just gotta make sure you grab the right lines. If you don't grab the right lines then you have some problems with it. So we'll just go ahead and do one at a time. Come down and offset. We want to offset it to the inside this time and just the same amount keeping the uniform. We'll do the same to all these other ones as well. You have to go through and do this for each individual one. Once you have all those done, then you'll be able to send a design, the white will overlap, the green and the yellow, and everything will work perfect. In order to send the cut lines, after you've deleted all of the other lines, would be just simply go up to cutting, click on cutting, and send it to the Roland GX24. It's a pretty simple process, sometimes in depth and detail, depending on the number of colors that you have. If you have any more questions, please contact your distributor. Thank you and have a great day.